What's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a cool little extension as well as a desktop, a PC and a Mac desktop application that you guys can install to improve your writing skills as well as your grammar, whether you are a writer, a uh, publisher, a editor, or anything related to that. Even if you want to write scripts for your videos, this is an excellent uh, application or extension that you guys can use so I'll leave a link in the description of this video so you guys can check it out but if you go to app.grammarly.com they have a dashboard where you guys can of course import your files if you want Grammarly to correct any of your spelling mistakes or any anything related to that you guys can use that as well you guys can go to new upload if you guys want to upload a new document or you can go to the files or documents that you've already uploaded in this case I'm gonna go ahead and click on this one the one I used to kind of uh, correct my essay that I have for school so when you first load up your essay on this page it will give you a list of grammatical issues and spelling mistakes that you have encountered within your essay now this doesn't have to be an essay it can be any text that you have used whether you use it in a blog or anything like that you guys can use this app to correct it for you so in this case we have the title and the whole essay itself it's not that long if you hover over a letter or a word or a grammatical issue you can go ahead and click on that and it will say what you guys should change or fix in this case it says it's a repetitive word and then it tells you what the word is island and it says the word island appears repeatedly in this text consider using a synonym in its place so in this case you would click on this one right here if it makes sense sometimes Grammarly doesn't really catch some text that is that already makes sense so sometimes it wants to change it for you so just keep that in mind so you guys can go onto this one or you can go onto uh, this little button that says more and it helps you with the text if you're having issues with it and it says a written work that uses the same words over and over is less interesting for the reader than a work that uses a richer vocabulary so it tells you what's incorrect and what's correct and what you should change so if you go down it will give you a list of a critical issue and advanced issues or, or other issues it even tells you how many words you have in your document and uh, right here we have the document type it says essay you guys can change that to right now it'd probably be on general or default however I went to the academic and the essay part now you guys can do report case study uh, research results or a research proposal and an admission letter you can even do that's also in the academic you can do business or technical anything related to that and over here we have the different settings here so we have the contextual spelling and it also gives you a score out of 100 and it tells you more stuff about it so it says plagiarism right now it says it's disabled but it will also check for plagiarism and it will tell it will tell you the contextual spelling the grammar punctuation sentence structure and the style so you can even download the report but if you go here and we turn on these it will tell you what you are actually missing and stuff like that and it will bring me down to an 81 percent of the score out of 100. this is a premium version so some of this you might not have but it's definitely worth the free download or the free use of this program i will leave a link in the description like i said but if you go to the contextual spelling it will tell you how many errors you have within that document and if you go on to this it will say the plagiarism i believe this is also a premium feature but if you click on plagiarism and you check that on it will say three percent is plagiarized apparently so if you click on this and it says unoriginal text it will tell you that this sentence here is related to another text within another website and uh, you also have the vocabulary enhancement the vocabulary enhancement will provide you with suggestions to uh, diversify your writing so it will just help you with improving your writing in general and you also have the professional proofreading what this will do is it will um, allow you to send it to an actual human proofreader so they will check over your writing and tell you or make you suggestions to change your text. When you would use this in kind of different social media accounts such as Twitter, Facebook, or even YouTube, this will go ahead and give you a suggestion uh, when you're writing it, especially in the comment sections. So if you click on the comment section here and you were to write a comment, so let's say, or let's give it a grammatical uh, error. So let's like type in, so let's see what it catches. So you can see a little yellow line and if you click on this, it will tell you what you should change and it says Brandon is very cool. If you click on that, it says overused word cool. So you can do fresh. And, and it also gives you another option to change. Awesome. You can do excellent. 
So for some reason, if we read the sentence, Brandon is very fresh and excellent at the same time. Sometimes it, is, sometimes it does not make sense. So you guys can click on the undo button. Now, sometimes Grammarly will not pick up on everything, like I said. So that is it for this video. If you found it helpful in any way, please leave a like. That'd be awesome. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.